Hello and welcome to the International Boxing Association's African Olympic qualifying event from the Mohammed V Sports Complex in Casablanca, Morocco's largest city. 154 boxers from 30 countries have been competing in 10 weight divisions and the prize for the finest 48 is the chance to represent their country at the 2012 Summer Olympic Games. There will be 286 male boxers and 36 women at the Excel Arena London in just 84 days time. And today, here in Morocco, we focus on the semi-final rounds of this Olympic qualifier with Africa's finest boxers looking to book their place at the 30th Summer Olympic Games. So the first of uh, these uh, semi-finals is the light flyweight division, 46 to 49 kilograms, and the Mozambique go up against Morocco. A lot of home support for Abdelali Darab for Morocco, 22-year-old, up against that Marquina of uh, Mozambique in uh, the red corner. Three three-minute rounds with uh, five uh, point scoring uh, judges. Let's take a look first at the uh, local favourite here, Darar from Morocco, just 22 years of age. Some experience and uh, that runner-up spot in the African Championships makes him uh, the favourite here. He's already boxed at the London XL last year at the test event where Durant finished in uh, seventh position there. Both of these boxers, all of the semi-finalists in this weight category, have already qualified for the London Games. But of course now, this is for a spot in the final and also perhaps their last major competition before those Olympics, just 84 days away, London. 2012. Marquina in the red. Durar for Morocco in the blue. Well, Marquina. Impressive. In his uh, pathway to these uh, semi finals, oh, 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 oh. stopping the contest in the second round Up against uh, Coma of Burundi. Good start. Very good start from the Moroccan here. Pushing that jab out with a good combination. Good one-two early on and good point scoring. Orthodox boxer in the blue, of course. It's the uh, Southpaw boxer in the red. Good little uppercut with the jab there. He's mixing up his blows quite nicely, but uh, Marquina sensing that uh, Durar has come out with a mission right from the first bell. He's countering well. Again, not afraid to come right in with the right hand. Nice hook to the head there from Durar. Working there. Feet well. Not afraid to cover up, take a few in defence, but again, uppercut with the jab has been working very well for the Moroccan. Very impressive first round, past the halfway point. Marquina just looking a little nervous here. Lots of local support for the Moroccan boxer in blue. Settled this nicely. Good on the feet, good with the jab, and also his right hand hook really has been quite effective. Marquina, a tour of the two boxers in a red, slightly longer reach, just hasn't quite got his distance and his timing where he wants it right now. Straight one, two again, and another good counter attack from uh, Durant, and he's got this taller opponent sized up quite nicely here. 
good footwork as well from the boxer in blue. Look how he turns out of trouble from the corner there. Good skills from the Moroccan. Nice double touch with the jab to try and find the right hand once again. top with the right on the counter again from uh, Durant, good point scoring blows very quick with the jab as well a few seconds left at the end of the first good start from both boxers but it's got to be the blue corner and uh, the judges agree Durant keeps the Moroccan crowd on their feet takes the first round 5-2 to two. You see the mean average there of the judges' scores. And that's exactly where we have our scorecard here in the commentary position as well. A great start for the 22-year-old Moroccan out of the Ain Siba Boxing Club. Well, as the host nation, uh, Morocco, have got seven boxers in action over this afternoons and this evenings at semi-finals. Some may say that's a little disappointing. They sent 10 to the last Olympic Games in Beijing. But the qualification process for the 2012 Summer Games must be that little more difficult as the African nations confirm their quality in that world boxing. Well, the boxer in red out of uh, Mozambique has to slightly change his tactic here now to try and keep the Moroccan on his jab. There's a good one too from uh, Marquina. That's a little better. start and come from that jab oh there's a good left hand from Marquina hit the target and stunned the Moroccan there very strong this is a better start for the boxer in red started nervously in the first but has settled with some good combinations here in the second gain right hand is now working well for Marquina. There are not getting his own way in this second round. Better work from the Moroccan there. Certainly stunned from that uh, right hand. And again, he's got to turn himself out of the corner. Tries to throw one over the top on the counter there. Not quite getting to the target. Caution from the referee for holding. And uh, Durant just needs to go back to that tactic of just fainting, bringing Marquina on, which worked so well for him on the first round. He's allowing Marquina to use his height and his uh, reach advantage here. And the Mozambique boxer has had a good second round, certainly better, clearly better than the first. Finding those angles. Mokina, fast with the hands, quick with the combination, just off target, unable to score in that last. 15 seconds left on the clock in this set, second of three rounds. A much better round for Giuliano Marquina, but remember, trading by three. It's a strong finish from Ebdelali Dara from Morocco. 
A better round for Marquina. 2-2, tying, but it still gives the advantage of 7-4 for the Moroccan boxer in the blue corner. One round to go. Let's take a look at this uh, right hand that did have some real damage and some great combinations from both boxers, fair to say. But there, that reach with the jab, one-two combination, and again straight in with the right on the counter-attack from Marquina. Much better point scoring round, but Morocco still with the advantage. Three points clear, Durant, going into the third and final round. This for a spot in tomorrow's final. Well, you can see the sense of urgency now from the boxer in red's game plan here. He really has got to try and score and uh, some good footwork from the Moroccan. Looking for the counter here. to get in close and there it is that's what's been that's what was so effective for Durant in the first round he allows himself switching it up here Marquina looking for the body shot as well as to the head all in the point scoring zone just got to watch that he doesn't drop his guard Durant in that frustration to counter the taller boxer. He's covering up well here, the Moroccan in blue. Past the halfway point. Oh no, well both boxers hitting the target there, scoring points, good combinations from both Durant and Marquina. Seven boxers in action here in the semi-finals. 
see Abdali Darar go through to the finals here tomorrow. Great start. Southpaw from Mozambique got back into the competition in the second round. Again, look at that very carefully. Both boxers scoring a tie in rounds two and three. But it was the work in the first round that gave the Moroccan 